China increases persecution of Christians during pandemic as hotline created to report them. This is a Christian Headlines report. And I find this story really interesting. And what I've, uh, what I've uh, kind of highlighted here is, well, a little bit about what's going on in China in, in, in general in another uh, uh, report. But... Uh, I didn't get to that, but I'll speak to that a tiny bit here. Uh, China is becoming more and more authoritarian even as we speak, and a lot of the tactics that the Chinese government is using to silence dissent is being mimicked. Or I'm not sure who's Zooming whom. I think it's kind of a mutuality here between our corpo state nationalists here in America and the Chinese government as far as how they're using these types of narratives to, to assault basically assault dissent so our top link here is religious persecution in china in intensified during the pandemic from christianity today soldiers march in tiananmen square before a wreath laying ceremony marking the 70th anniversary of the founding of the people's republic of china in beijing okay that's that's Let's see what you got here. Religious persecution in China intensified in 2020 with thousands of Christians affected by church closures and other human rights abuses, according to a new report from China Aid. China's Aid's research on persecution in China last year documented nine Chinese church denominations carried demolitions. Not denominations. <laughs> Uh, carried out by Chinese Communist Party authorities, affecting more than 5,000 members and attendees. Overall, CCP authorities persecuted 100% of house churches, the study found, with police summoning and questioning every church's main leader. Under the direction of Chinese President Xi Jinping, I just call him Chairman Xi, Chinese CCP officials, that's Chinese Communist Party officials, which are... I mean, they're they're so enmeshed with the DNC here, although that's complicated, too. And I hope to do a report on that soon, how even though they're kind of enmeshed with the DNC, they're still in competition with them. The DNC being the Democratic National. I'm calling it the Dem. I think it means Democratic National Committee, but I'm calling it the Democratic National Corporation because that's more fitting to what it really is. And it's part of the, the Corpo State Nationalist uh, Coalition. Although, again, even within that coalition, there's there's competition. So Chairman Z, CCP officials also worked out to more fully control religious ordering religion, ordering Christians in both official state-run churches as well as in in-house churches to fly the Chinese flag and sing patriotic songs and services. By the way, this is something very similar to what Hitler did. A lot of times people say, oh, Hitler was a Christian. Well, he definitely claimed to be a Christian for various periods of time, and he used the language of Christianity, but the Nazis actually believed that... Uh, I mean, they, they followed Nietzsche in saying that Christianity is an abomination. It's basically a slave religion. So they sought to uh, turn Christianity into, into their religion, which is what often happens with Christianity. A lot of very, very bad people turn Christianity into their perverse, upside-down Christedness. And so the Nazi Party, for instance, uh, forced churches. I don't know how much they had to force them because many, many, just like in America with the churches today that are signing up with this ungodly uh, extremist uh, critical race theory garbage, uh, they, they kind of do it willingly because most, most churches are pretty much cowardly. Uh, but these churches, they were told to fly the nation, the, the, put the, take the cross out and put the, not the swastika in its place. These, if you if you were a church that didn't take the cross out but the swastika in this place, you would be shut down too. So the only kind of Christianity that Chinese will allow is the quote unquote Christianity that does in Nazi Germany <coughs> what uh, they expect them to do today, which is uh, sing the party line. It, the party is really God, and that's what Christianity in Nazi Germany became. The party became God. Uh, the, the 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 blood in the land uh, became God. In China, it's pretty much the blood in the land, too. Authorities also directed ministers and priests to sink, sink, sin, 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 synthesize, I guess, sin, sin, synthesize sermons or alter them to conform to CCP ideology. And that means that you need to make sure that you're not, because if you preach a message, the gospel, if you preach the message of the gospel, which is that we rule through the promise of life and not through the, through the threat of death because Christ conquered death, 
that the good news is that Christ has redeemed us all. Our reward is already here, and now it is for us to live out his glory in our lives. And that means suffering, and that means, uh, in many cases, earthly death. Uh, if you preach that message, a message uh, that resonates with the, the downtrodden, uh, Nietzsche says that uh, Christianity is the religion of the slave. And he's absolutely right. It is a religion for slaves. But the problem is that you humans don't realize, we humans don't realize that we are actually slaves. All of us. Even even Chairman Z is a slave. He's a slave to earthly death. He's a slave to the heart of the earth. The very heart of the earth that he uses to bully and murder and destroy the humans that are in competition with him. Just like what's going on in the American corpo state nationalist world where they are using the same tactics as Chairman Z. For instance, uh, they're starting a headline, a uh, hotline in China for people to call. And uh, this is from CBN.com. China launches hotline to report people for, quote, mistaken opinion. And this is exactly what's going on in America. People are reporting people for mistaken opinion. And the and the list of mistaken opinion grows. And it's going to include directly. It's already, if you have a, quote, unquote, mistaken opinion. And I'm not going to speak one way or another on this. Certainly not in this thing. But if you have a, quote, unquote, mistaken opinion that homosexuality is a sin, is, as, as the Bible seems to. Well, if you read it plainly, it's it's hard not to believe that. But I'm not saying you should. But, you know, it's there. But believing that is wrong opinion. So they will shut you down. And that means, well, th th that's the doorway in. Because before long, it will be more than just that homosexuality is a sin. It will be any type of Christian belief that does not conform to the very narrow, uh, rigid moral supremacism, the upside down Christedness of of the of the so-called new woke religion and i think i'll leave that at that there's other headlines here on the christian headlines that uh, you can peruse but i don't have time to get to that